what I'm showing you is um, lab three, um, the second part of lab three, the gel electrophoresis part. Um, you guys all had this, which is your agarose, and you are supposed to melt it. Um, the best way is to use a microwave. Um, start out with eight seconds, and as the gel starts to melt, do eight second increments, and then when you see the gel start to melt, slow it down to like five second, three to five second increments. And this will take maybe maybe two minutes. Um, this is the gel box, and this is the comb that goes in the box. The comb is going to make um, little holes inside of, inside of the um, gel. So anyway, you're going to pour this as soon as it liquefies, you're going to pour it into your box. All of it. And then it will take approximately 10 minutes for it to um, cool and harden. And you're going to take the comb out and you will load the dyes into the holes that are made by the comb. Um, this to show you the rest of the setup, this is your battery and make sure that you clip the red alligator clip to the positive end and then the black to the negative end. And then you're also going to, while you're waiting for your gel to cool, you're gonna cut out two pieces of carbon paper five and a half centimeters by four centimeters. So you're gonna make two. These are gonna help conduct current through the, um, through the gel. So now the gel has hardened. I can see that it's hardened. When I shake it, it doesn't jiggle. So I'm gonna take the comb out. And I don't know how well you can see this, but it, you can see it pretty good. There are little little holes or wells where the um, comb, you know, was was in the gel. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pour the buffer in. This is the PVE buffer that's in your chemical kit. To pour it all in. And then you are going to take your carbon paper, put a little bit of that carbon paper under the box so it won't get away, and then put some more of it, fold it over so that some of it goes into the, the buffer. I can't pick it up now to show you, but I'm taking my carbon paper and putting one end under the box and then folding the other end over top until it touches the um, the liquid buffer. And this is what we're going to clip the alligator clip. Okay, and then we're going to load the die. So here's my little pipette. Um, let me look at the order. Pyronin is first and then methyl orange. Now you can just pop that tip off. You've got to press on the bulb just like you do a regular pipette. And you've got to press on the bulb and then put your tip on um, the tip of your pipette in there. Make sure that there's no air at the tip of the of the um, pipette. Make sure that you squeeze it so that there's no air there. And then go ahead and put it into. I overfilled it, which is fine. It's better to do that than to underfill it. Let's do 
see the reason for the paper towel now because that's going to soak hot water. Okay. Anyway, um, now that you see how to do that, the way that you do the clip is you put the black alligator clip closest to your die, and you put the red alligator clip at the far end because the die has a negative charge and it's going to move um, toward the positive end of the gel. And now that you've got it set up and you've got it hooked to the battery, um, you will you will let the die run um, for as long as it takes. I, hold on a minute, I'll look. Let's see, in, it says in the um, instructions, For an hour, so we'll pause here.